Welcome, it's that time again, test time here at Tyler Kung Fu. So today we're going to discuss the test review for warriors up through adults. Now let's talk about what is required this time. We have, of course, all the punches, kicks, blocks, all the calisthenics and warmups, but we also have blitz number six. We have the combat, which deals with the infamous haymaker. We got several of those, four to be exact. And then of course the form for the warriors and then on the adults, we're working on the sword form, which is part of the Yinqing broadsword. Now let's jump into the blitz. Blitz number six is involving a grab situation. Like if they've grabbed your wrist or your arm, you're turning that hand over and bringing it down hard. Oh, and this reminds me, those of you that are testing out to another level, get with us and talk, ask us about the vault because the vault has all of these forms and blitzes and combats and what they're used for all filmed just for you for a test out. So remind me about that if you are in the process of testing up or graduating out. All right, here we go. Here's the blitz number six. One, you step through, two with the back palm, then we're gonna use back leg push kick, three. Let's do it again. One movement, two movements, three movements. Put it together. Very simple. But that's the whole point of the blitzes is I want them very simple so you don't think. You just react. That's my point. So very simple. Blitz number six, both sides here. Strike and push kick. Now let's move on to the haymaker defense. If you remember, we got our hands up. You're not standing if you think something's going down with your hands by your side. Action's quicker than reaction. You gotta get your hands up. You see a punch is coming. The first one we talked about was the helmet. Bringing that hand up, fingers grabbing the back of the head, bringing the bicep to the cheek, lowering the chin just enough, but keeping your eyes on your opponent. Helmet block. So he's swinging the right hand this way, helmet block, swinging this way. Helmet block, that's our first defense, helmet block. Now, double block, same swing, a step, double block, punishing their arm, okay? Swings this way, double block. The stance I'm using is the forward stance, all right? If I stand like this, he can knock me over. Forward stance, boom. So, helmet, helmet, double, double. And then of course, the laws governing Wushu, number one, move rather than block. They throw that haymaker, I duck, okay? Movement, ducking, keeping your eyes on your opponent. Now, the tornado, if you remember, the punch is coming in. I intercept the arm, step behind them, and then throw. I don't have a partner to demonstrate on the video because you, you, I want you to see that in class, and we do that in class, but it's the tornado. Those of you that are testing will know what it is. The punch is coming, I step with it, mirror, catch them behind the head and throw them down. That's it guys. It's pretty simple as far as the blitz and the combat. Now, if you're a Black Sash student, let's look at the form. For the Warriors, it's dropping horse defense. Okay. Ipe. Bow. And I'm doing it in a closed, pretty closed area, okay? That's what I love about Mantis Kung Fu, close quarter combat. Up look. Down block, up strike, down block, fist in, side kick, step, I turn, yee, grab punch, wipe kick, black tiger seals the heart, step in, and sow. I know when you're learning it, it seems like a lot, but it's really a short form. It's one of my favorite little forms. So that's it, gang, especially for my warriors. Guess what? Now we're gonna work on the sword for the adults. All right, guys, here is Yinqing broadsword. So way back in the day, we used the wooden ones and they were terrible because they would crack and get splinters in your hand. So I'm really happy to find these polyurethane ones. Good for combat and hitting and they're a nice weight too. So this is Yinqing broadsword, one of the more traditional broadsword sets in the seven star system. So Yin Ching, and, and I've broken it down, so this is section one. All right, so we'll do that for you now. 